ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಥವಾ ವಿಲಯ ವ್ರಜೇತ್ ನು ಪಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ಅತಶ್ಚಾಹಂ ಧಿಯೋಚ್ಯತೆ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ರಿಪ್ಲೈ ದಿ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ ರೇಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪಕ್ಷಿ ಹೌ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ಆರ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಅಹಂ ahaṁ can refer to the mind also, ahaṁ can refer to ahaṅkāra also, ahaṁ I can refer to chidābhāsā also. Therefore, how this word ahaṁ can be equated to brahmā, asmi? This is um the aside topic that aham brahmasmi is possible because of three vrittis sureshwara acharya just introducing three of them then later he is going to elaborate that ahankara is uh, having association with uh, chit aham the original consciousness so there is no mind at any time without the chidabhasa there is no chidabhasa at any time without the chit the original consciousness therefore the chidabhasa or mind or ahankara whatever you call their existence is because of chit alone without chit the consciousness there is neither mind function nor chidabhasa existence nor ahankara existence therefore three types of uh, prayogas can be used to equate the aham to brahma aham brahma asmi is possible how is it possible three vrittis he said in 54th verse bhaga lakshana or jahal lakshana he said bhaga lakshana or bhaga tyaga lakshana here sureshwara acharya focus on jahati lakshana give up that primary meaning vachyartha aham take lakshyartha aham jahati lakshana you have to give up jahati means you have to give up that anatma characteristics anatma attributes you have to give up then alone you can take this aham brahma asmi through jahati lakshana then he comes to the second vritti that is gauni vritti gauni vritti means um, an adjectives are there when adjectives are there those adjectives are existing because of the substance without substance adjectives can never exist independently 
देर फॉर गौणी वृत्ति इज आलो पॉसिबल गौणी वृत्या गौणी वृत्ति कैन बी यूज ऐ सेट गौणी वृत्ति अहम वृत्ति इज यूज फॉर द कामन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स देर एक्जिस्टिंग टू अहंकार द मैंड आलो सो आत्मा दिचित दिस इज कॉल्ड गौणी वृत्ति that attributes you need not count within this atma therefore the attributes are many but the substance is one then third vritti he has taken is mukhya vritti or the primary meaning so primary meaning aham refers to brahman as inseparable consciousness revealed through aham so in this verse 56th verse what sureshwara acharya said ahankarah atmana avina bhavam vrajet it is inseparable ahankara is inseparable from aham the higher i the original consciousness then the second sentence we said athava ahankarah vilayam vrajet either it has to be there inseparably all the time or in sleep it will dissolve for some time few hours vilayam vrajet either it goes to um potential form in pralaya or in sleep also it goes to potential form temporarily then third statement we say acharya says ahankarah pakshantaram na yayat so this ahankara cannot have any other third you cannot have any third pakshantaram either it has to be always inseparably with the atma chaitanyam or it has to dissolve temporarily either in laya or pralaya so no time ahankara is free from the chit so the mukhya vritti even though primary meaning of aham is ahankara it is understood even though it is primary meaning but we have to understand where is ahankara without aham the oc oc is possible all the time is possible we cannot say rc is possible or ahankara is possible because of aham oc so this is the third vritti or mukhya vritti what is the name of this aham aham is brahman that is unlocalized even though ahankara lower i is localized gunas are localized but unlocalized atma we have to take unlocalized unconditional unlocated that atma we have to take that is the idea up to here we saw in the last class so aham the chaitanyam you can use lakshana vritti gauni vritti and mukhya vritti any vritti you can take no problem but you can say aham brahma asmi now we'll go to the next page 67 वर्ष नंबर 57 कीदृक् पुनर्वस्तु लक्ष्यम नामादिभ्य परो भूमा निष्कळो कारको क्रियः सैवात्मवता मात्मा स्वत सिद्ध सैवनः नौ कीदृक् पुनः वस्तु लक्ष्यम नौ दैट ब्रह्मन व्हाट 
is that which is indirectly revealed what is its nature what is the nature of that brahman brahman lakshanam kim upalakshanam lakshyam means upalakshanam what is that revealed through this mahavakya what is the nature what is that entity please explain if you ask we will give that explanation in this 57th verse no? that is uh, in this shloka acharya is quoting um, chandogya upanishad chandogya upanishad 7th chapter in is paraphrasing the first word namadibhyah paro bhuma namadibhyah paro bhuma up to there uh, the quotation from chandogya upanishad 7th chapter 7th chapter um, 15 section 7th chapter 24th section first mantra yo vai bhuma there it comes that mantra yo vai bhuma tat sukham nal pe sukham asti bhumaiva sukham bhuma ityeva vijaniyat ವಿಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸಿತವ್ಯ ಭೂಮಾನ ಭಗವೋ ವಿಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಸೊ ನಾರದ ಎಪ್ರೋಚ್ಡ್ ನಾರದ ಎಪ್ರೋಚ್ಡ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಸ್ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯೋ ವೈ ಭೂಮ ತತ್ ಸುಖಂ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯೋಪನಿಷತ್ ನಾಮಿಭ್ಯ ಪರಹ ಭೂಮ ಹಿಯರ್ ಭೂಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಭೂಮ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಭೂಮ ಸೊ ನಾಮಿಭ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಟಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಉಪಾಸನ ಹೇ ನಾರದ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡು ಉಪಾಸನ ಸ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಉತ್ತರೋತ್ತರ ಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠತ್ವ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನಾಮ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಸೊ ನಾಮ ಆದಿಪದಾತ್ ಭೂಮ ಭೂಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಶಾ ಪ್ರಾಣ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ you meditate upon nama name and you should meditate upon asha superior than nama like that many are there nearly more than 10 he bring brings then prana finally you meditate upon prana as brahman you meditate upon prana as brahman that param brahma you can do upasana what are the qualifications for that upasana shraddha and nishtha vijnanam all these qualifications are there shraddha nishtha vijnanam that is um, the qualification with that qualification you can meditate yo vai bhuma iti that mantra if what i read now ಯತ್ರ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ ವಿಜಾನಾತಿ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ ಶೃಣೋತಿ ಸ ಭೂಮ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಯತ್ರ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ನಾನ್ಯ ಶೃಣೋತಿ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ ವಿಜಾನಾತಿ ಸ ಭೂಮ ದೆನ್ ಹಿಸೇಸ್ ತದಲ್ಪ ಯೋ ವೈ ಭೂಮ ತದ್ ಯದಲ್ಪ ತತ್ ಮರ್ತ್ಯ ಸ ಕಸ್ಮಿನ್ 
ತಿಷ್ಠತಿ ಇತಿ ಸ್ವೇ ಮಹಿಮ್ನಿ ತಿಷ್ಠತಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೂ ಎವರ್ ನೋಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ನಾಣ್ಯತ್ ವಿಜಾನಾತಿ ನಾಣ್ಯತ್ ಶೃಣೋತಿ ನೆವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸೀಸ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ನೆವರ್ ನೋಸ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಭೂಮ ದಟ್ ಎ ಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಭೂಮ ಸೊ ನಾಮಿಭ್ಯ ಪರ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ಪರಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭೂಮ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗ್ರಿವೆನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಿಷ್ಕಳ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ನಿಷ್ಕಳ ಅಕಾರಕ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟಬಲ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ನ ಅಕಾರಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ನಿಷ್ಕಳ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲೆಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಕಾರಕ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎನಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟಬಲ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಿಯ ಆತ್ಮ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಿಯ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಲಕ್ಷಣಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಾಕ್ಟಬಲ್ ಇಂಟಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಕ್ರಿಯ ಸ ಆತ್ಮವತ ಆತ್ಮ ಸ್ವತಃ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಸ ಸಹ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಸ ಆತ್ಮವತ ಫಾರ್ ವೈಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆತ್ಮವತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ who have mastered what um, mastered themselves through this knowledge through this knowledge who have mastered themselves means uh, who have understood their real nature by all disciplines sayeva atmavatam that alone nishkalaha avikar ಅಕಾರಕ ಅಕ್ರಿಯ ಸಹ ಆತ್ಮ ಫಾರ್ ದೋಸ್ ವೈಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸ್ವತಃ ಸಿದ್ಧ ನಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಸ್ವತಃ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಎವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮನ್ this is the word to word meaning what sureshwaracharya want to communicate yo vai bhuma tat sukham he says so prana dibhya that superior to prana what you meditate upon the brahman invoking on prana that brahman is sukha swarupam bhuma means that is the name of bhuma means infinite that infinite brahman is sukha swarupam yato va imani bhutani jayante ananda dheva khalvimani bhutani jayante anande na jatani jeevanti there in taitri upanishad what is said as um, uh, ananda atma here uh, sukham is used ನ ಅಲ್ಪೇ ಸುಖಮಸ್ತಿ ಭೂಮ ವೈ ಭೂಮ ವೈ ಸುಖಂ ತ ಅನ ಅಲ್ಪೇ ಸುಖಂ ನ ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸೊ ಚಾಂದೋಗ್ಯ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸತ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ and uh, sat is sat existence and chit that is in 7th chapter uh, chit is presented 
and in eighth chapter ananda is presented in bhuma vidya the consciousness is presented in sat vidya sat is presented existence is presented and in eighth chapter prajapati vidya ananda is revealed sat chit ananda in three chapters which we saw in our chandogya upanishad classes long long ago so that happiness sukham that's why he, he remembers here sat eva chit chit eva ananda so yo vai bhuma tat sukham means here happiness exist even before the creation happiness means here what brahman brahman exist even before the creation that brahman is anand um, alone ananda swarupam it is not experiential ananda you know all this so anand is not experiential ananda conditional ananda but it is um, original ananda original ananda bimbananda bimbananda tat tvam asi that is the mahavakya bimbananda tvam asi yo vai bhuma tat sukham alpe na sukham asti there is no sukham no object in the creation can have happiness in this world because every happiness is the reflection of original consciousness only that is me so from me only when that mind is satvik that original consciousness reflect in the mind and when the mind is tamasik that time ananda swarupa ananda is not reflecting when you are in dukkha that time mind is tamasic at that time original ananda cannot reflect as prathibimba ananda so this is the big analysis in ananda mimamsa and in many places so ananda is your original nature it reflects when the mind contact with the sense organs sense objects sorry sense objects sense organs contact there is a sukha dukha in the mind sukha is because of satvik predominance sattva predominance ananda reflects there manifest original ananda manifest when mind is uh, under tamas tamoguna predominantly ananda does not uh, manifest that is called dukha what is sukham what is dukham that alone is shastra's conclusion therefore existence is ever evident consciousness is also ever evident because satteva chit chiteva sat so ananda is also ever evident all the time that uh, even khatopanishad um, uh and um, let's see it asked um what is that its nature katham nu tad vijaniyam kimu bhati vibhati va iti then amadhan uh, maharaja gave the answer now we are seeing in gita bhashyam tomorrow we will see again um yatra न त्र सूर्यो भाति न चंद्र तारक नियम विद्युत भाँ दैट इज द अनदर आंसर फॉर आत्मस्वरूप सो दट ईज द नेचर ऑफ आत्म हियर सो आनंदस्वूप आत्म फॉर ऑल बीइंग्स इट ईज एवर एविडेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ आत्मा आनंद वन हैज़ टू रिकग्नाइज दैट so this experiential ananda is coming and going and that ananda is my swarupam original ananda that is why that is sukha swarupam therefore saiva atmavatam that anandam brahma is revealed through aham brahma asmi for those people who have mastered themselves swatasiddha self evident 
saiva naha that alone is evident for all of us it is um, uh, self established it is established by every one of us so i am uh, never doubted myself i never doubt my own existence i can doubt anything in the world but not my own existence i never doubt myself because uh, self evident swata siddha means self evident this is uh, from bhuma vidya sukha swarupam atma is given in chandogya upanishad that uh, atma is partless uh, non transactable it is uh, ever actionless atma then further he is going to explain atma very important portion even though we saw this portion but again and again we can dwell upon this uh, very important <coughs> what is the portion going to come that atma pure atma can never be transactable no use also it has to be associated with a upadhi upadhi dwara upahita chaitanyam only you can appreciate without uh, location without localization pure existence pure consciousness pure ananda you can never transact you can never experience you can never have any purpose no use also that is why how you recognize this atma just like our face however much beautiful your face is you have to depend upon the mirror to see your original face as a reflected face so as a reflected face you have to you see that in the mirror hmm? this is the most uh, um, tragic thing you know we cannot see our own face we are thinking i am so great uh, i am so great what is our greatness we cannot see our own uh, face therefore what we are doing from morning to till night how many times we are looking at mirror without uh, mirror help can you cannot see your original face even with original reflect with the mirror also reflecting medium also can you see original face only you cannot see original face through reflected face you recognize mm-hmm. discover your original face even though you are uh, seeing the original face in the mirror not directly we never think about this we are happy in looking into the mirror and applying powder kumkum bundi etc etc alankarana but we never think further even though i am using this dressing table mirror i cannot see my face really exact face i cannot see i see only reflected face to re- reflected face i infer oh this is my face this is my face so this is anvaya vitreka logic also <coughs> reflected face is vitreka means it is not continuous <coughs> but original face is continuously there whether you look into the mirror or not reflected face may go if mirror is removed but original face continues anvaya continuity but reflected face will not continue same way atma also here i will read this portion verse number 58 introduction agnyanothite buddhyadi kartrutvopadhim atmanam parigrihyayeva अन्वयव्यतिरेकाभ्या अहम सुखी दुखी चैते अहंकारादेहे 
ಅನಾತ್ಮಧರ್ಮತ್ವ ಕೇವಲಾತ್ಮ ಅಭ್ಯುಪಗಮೇ ಅವ್ಯ ಅಶಕ್ತ್ವಾತ್ ಫಲ ಅಭಾವಾಚ್ಛ ಅಥ ಇದೀಂ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾ ಪರಿಕಲ್ಪಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿತ್ವಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಕರ್ತವ್ಯ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವಾಶೇಷ ಪರಿಣಾಮ ಪ್ರತಿಷೇಧಾಯ ಆಹ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಧರ್ಮತ್ವತ್ವಾತ್ವ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ತ್ವ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ದೀರ್ಘಂ ತ್ವ ದೀರ್ಘಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ವ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮತ್ವ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಎನಫ್ ಧರ್ಮತ್ವ ಮುಕ್ತ ಧರ್ಮತ್ವ ಮುಕ್ತ ವಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ಥಿತ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾದಿ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಆತ್ಮಾನ ಪರಿಗೃಹ್ಯ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ಡ್ continue may not continue so this is a topic is complex and subject is also complex okay the language is also um, complex language atma is enclosed within the mind enclosed atma only can be transactable that's what he says ಹೌನ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾಧಿ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವೋಪಾಧಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾಧಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ಥಿತ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನೋರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಉದ್ಧಿತ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮಾಯ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಾಯ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಉತ್ಥಿತ ಮಾಯಾ ಉತ್ಥಿತ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾದಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಚಿತ್ತ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಹೋಲ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಎನ್ಕ್ಲೋಷರ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ಲೋಷರ್ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವ ಉಪ ಕರ್ತೃತ್ವೋಪಾಧಿ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಚಿತ್ತ ಅಹಂಕಾರ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಆಲ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ um saying i am the doer i am the experiencer i am the seer i am the speaker like that kartrutva comes that kartrutva is because of ajnana maya kartrutva upadhim atmanam that atma which is having association with upahita atma that is called upadhi means mind is a upadhi in that my mind is in the body bond body is thula upadhi mind is the sukshma upadhi medium in that medium atma is available parigrihya taken that at alone parigrihya eva anvaya vitireka abhyam anvaya vitireka means here reasoning of um, continuity continuity anvaya and vetireka non continuity what continues what will not continue manasu buddhi chitta ahankara upadhi me continue may not continue like mirror but upahita chaitanyam chaitanyam continues chaitanyam continues just like uh, another example we take uh, space example uh, all pervading consciousness avyavaharyam vyavahara ayogyam all pervading consciousness all pervading consciousness means the consciousness pervading in the body is vyavahara yogyam now class is going on pure atma is talking or uh, upahita atma is talking upahita chaitanyam alone is transacting now 
and through your body medium only you are listening to me pure atma cannot listen the class pure atma cannot speak also here itself you can have the practical uh, application as you are listening to the class naishkarma siddhi class with body mind complex you are listening only body mind complex without consciousness no you are conscious of my class how you are conscious of your my class pure consciousness cannot be conscious of it has to be enclosed in the mind pure mind doesn't exist without sthula shariram it if it exists it is a ghost <laughs> so the mind exists in the gross body that gross body in that mind is there sukshma shariram in that mind the reflected consciousness is formed because of that mind is functioning because of that only buddhi functioning because of that only this listening is happening <coughs> these are all uh, even you know or not they are only happening even my the speaker talking also whatever you use the er speaker listener that er is uh, uh, you that suffix when you add a speaker er listener er experiencer er that er er event that suffix when we use that is localized consciousness consciousness is neither experiencer nor speaker the pramata the knower is um, uh, two types of knowers are there changing knower non changing knower pramata is that antakarana mind which is directly knowing the objects that is a changing entity changing knower we know all this in vichar sagar also we saw previously and upadesa sahasri elaborately we saw in 16th chapter uh, upadesa sahasri and uh, many prakrana grandhas also panchadasi also we saw the same subject here that uh, aham when i say there are knower um two types of knowers are there sakshi is uh, unchanging knower so in drashta drishyam drik drishya viveka we you know drik the drashta the knower the seer drishyam is anatma drik there are two types of drik one is changing drik another is non changing seer changing seer is called pramata the mind non changing seer is called sakshi the so first stage of lesson is drik drishya viveka whatever you see is anatma seer is satyam atma we introduce first drik drishya viveka first stage of teaching so the seer you are satyam drishyam is anatma once introduced this drik drishya viveka then we come to further analysis what is this drik is changing drik or non changing drik mind is changing drik that is why vitireka it is not continuous it is changing all the time seer mind is not the knower mind knower mind is not the listener mind listener mind is not the writing mind you know speaker mind speaker is different from knower knower is different from the listener listener is different from walker walker is different from the eater so that e er continuously is there but eating speaking speaking excludes the eating eating excludes the speaking so that is called vitireka anvaya is what er is anvaya continuously there that suffix so that is a non changing i from drik drishya viveka we come to that drikla there are changing i and non changing i changing i is lower i pramata i which is always changing because mind is changing whereas changeless 
I is Sakshi Chaitanya. <coughs> Never changes. That is Anvaya. Continuously there. <coughs> that is called Anvaya Vetireka Pyam. What do we say? We use Aham Sukhi. I am happy. Aham Dukhi. I am unhappy. Cha iti. Ahankara Dehe. Anatma Dharmatvam. So simple you can understand. This is the attribute of Anatma Dharma. What is Anatma? Ahankara. Ahankara is the Anatma which is Vitreka means which is not continuous. In sleep your Ahankara continues. In sleep your Ahankara is not there. My Ahankara also is not there. <coughs> Therefore, Ahankara Dehi, Ahankara Adipadad, Ahankara, Mind, Buddhi, Mano Buddhi, Ahankara Chitta, all this, Putta Antakkaranam, other entities, Anatma Dharmatva. This is Anatma. Ahankara Dehi, Anatma, they are called Anatma, non self, Sukha Dharma and Dukkha Dharma, both belong to Ahankara non-continuous changing because sukhi is not dukhi dukhi is not sukhi a sorrowful person is not a happy person a happy person is not sorrowful person so vetireka is there hankara is changing you can understand now therefore um, with um, body mind complex only parigrihya eva anvaya vetireka abhyam continuous uh, uh, Sakshi Chaitanyam, non-continuous, uh, lower I, Ahankara. Because of Ahankara only, I am happy, I am unhappy, we say. That is Ahankara Dharma, Anatma Dharma. Anatma, Anahankara happens to be Anatma. Therefore, Anatma Dharma, no, Muktam, this is already said, Muktam, why we have to take this Upadhi, why to... Um, enter into upadhi why we have to negate the upadhi and how to use upadhi why to use mirror why we have to use mirror you have to use mirror but you cannot carry all the time mirror you see mirror for some time and you keep it aside even uh, your makeup kit also you see mirror and you keep it you know? then bag there is a mirror also hmm? That uh, you open and see, all the time you won't see, you close it. Why to open and uh, you have to see your face, therefore you see. Like that here also, Kevala Atma Abhyupagami, suppose Kevala Atma, pure consciousness, pure existence, Abhyupagami, if you want to make use of that, let me try. Why to use this mind? Why to use this buddhi? Hmm? Let me contact with the pure consciousness, a pure existence. So, suppose that thought comes for anyone. Hmm? It is funny. It is not possible. Abhyupagami. If you want to do that, Abhyupagami, what will happen? Kartrutvadi Ashakya Ashakya Parinamaha. Sorry, Abhyupagami, third line I have to read. Oh, Ashekyatvad phala abhavacha. It is Ashekyam, impossible. It is not possible. What is not possible? Um, Kevala Atma in transaction is not possible. It is not possible. Ashekyatvad, it is impossible. So, buddhi enclosed consciousness is alone available. For communication, without uh, an unenclosed consciousness is not useful, it is not prayojana abhavat, there is no prayojanam at all. So, um, there is no prayojanam, just like uh, another example also is payasam, if you kheer, kheer if you want to drink payasam, with container you have to take without cup or tumbler 
glass either silver or gold or any uh, steel you have to use the container without container you cannot uh, drink the milk or sweet any pious so how can you use that no? you have to use it otherwise how can you drink after drinking you keep it aside in the container contains you want to take container or content container you are not interested in container you are interested in the content so that is called enclosed payasam <laughs> enclosed payasam and then that payasam which is in the container is called enclosed payasam so enclosed payasam is useful you can drink and you can enjoy an enclosed payasam you cannot enjoy like that only here also enclosed consciousness alone is useful and you can enjoy the nama roopa prapancha without enclosure mind body complex buddhi etc um, ahankara without ahankara mano buddhi chitta ahankara antakaranam vina yeah, it is like containerless payasam <laughs> atma is payasam like okay atma is payasam like um uh, payasam means what payasam milk the sweet prepared with milk is called payasam uh, payas means milk that which is sweet is made out of milk is called payas payasam okay that uh, payasam uh, like uh, atma payasam like atma can be enjoyed can be relished through the container hmm, uh, cup container cup like mind buddhi chitta ahankara are you interested in ahankara or uh, aham consciousness aham consciousness lakshyartha aham is like a payasam ahankara is the container but we what we do unfortunately forgetting the aham payasam and taking the ahankara container aham sukhi aham dukhi and go on and on and on and telling about our stories and not only that telling stories and comparing with ramayana and bharatam and the periya ramayana solra periya bharatam bhagavatam na they are all good epics sacred epics and we are bringing down to our worldly life problematic matters and comparing with that ramayana uh, start pannita kada start pannita bharatam chitta adu adella compare panna apdi illa panna koodadu nam actually they are all sacred granthas let them be there but our problems human problems always because of i am happy i'm unhappy i'm sad i'm worrying i'm anxious i'm tensed all this belongs to ahankara container <coughs> container is there is tatparyam in container or content payasam content payasam only swamini you enjoy payasam but what about atma aham payasam here sukhi dukhi is vitreka adi it is not continuous it is coming and going but uh, aham i am that original consciousness payasam like original conscious own up claim that make use of container don't throw the container before claiming that i am brahman before taking payasam don't throw the cup with the payasam adi unintelligent way of uh, doing intelligent person happily drink the poison keep keep that tumbler side similarly wise people atmavatam previous line atmavatam wise people are those people they recognize swata siddha atma aham content poison like content i am i like this poison tumbler example because with that i will carry you i take you to that dashtanta so that you will it will entrench in your mind that is my idea what i want to say 
ఆల్వేస్ ఎంజాయ్ ద కంటెంట్ ఆత్మ అహం వితౌట్ మీ ది కాన్షియస్నెస్ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ సుఖస్వరూప ఆనంద స్వరూప ఆత్మ అహం ఈస్ నాట్ ద వెర్ ఈస్ అహంకార అహంకార ఈజ్ ఫాల్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లైక్ ఎ టంబ్లర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ లైక్ ఎ కప్ దెర్ ఈస్ నో తాత్పర్య ఇన్ దట్ మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ అహంకార మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ అహంకార టంబ్లర్ ఈ మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ డ్రింక్ పాయసం లైక్ దాట్ మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ అహంకార ఆర్ ఆర్ టంబ్లర్ టంబ్లర్ మీన్స్ గ్లాస్ ఓకే కప్ ఆర్ ఓకే మేక్ యూజ్ ఆఫ్ అహంకార టంబ్లర్ లైక్ గ్లాస్ లైక్ అహంకార అండ్ ఓన్ అప్ వాట్ యూ కెన్ కాల్ యూ swallow or you can enjoy you can relish that aham brahma asmi in this paragraph that alone acharya is telling similarly space is also pure space is not useful hall space is useful pot space is useful uh, one only space what is how is it useful you cannot make use of it now i am in the room you are sitting in the room it is a room space open space is all pervading space is not useful all these examples you apply to atma that atma which is available in this body mind complex that is very upadhi required then atma i am upahita chaitanyam in this body this is the my beauty my glory i am available in this body mind complex what we are doing forgetting the upahita chaitanyam i am and taking the upadhi body mind complex which has got umpteen problems vyadhi jara marana so many complaints and taking it as real it is unfortunate thing so fortunate lucky people like you the students recognize discover my dear oh wonderful teaching swamini you can enjoy so purushah prakriti stohi bhungte prakriti jan gunan bhagavad gita vaisa upadrashtanu manta cha bharta bhokta maheshwarah all these are talking in the same idea so drashta and pramata atma these are only uh, in the beginning we teach Hmm? All these are only compromised version of Atma. I, the Pramada Atma, we only introduce. Drashta Atma, Pramada Atma, we only introduce. But uh, between Drashta Atma and Sakshi Atma, which one is better? In, uh, Sakshi Atma is better. In uh, Drashta is not my real nature. Because from drish- Drishyam standpoint only Drashta. సో ద్రష్ట రేదర్ దాన్ టేకింగ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఏదైనా ద్రష్ట అన్న దెర్ ఈస్ అనదర్ ద్రష్ట సీయర్ నెంబర్ వన్ సీయర్ నెంబర్ టూ దేర్ ఫోర్ వై ద్రష్ట ఈవెన్ సాక్షి ఈజ్ బెటర్ దట్ ఈజ్ అవర్ ఐడియా ద్రష్ట మైండ్ సవికార ద్రష్ట ఐ ఆమ్ నిర్వికార ద్రష్ట వెన్ ఐ టేక్ ఐ ఆమ్ సాక్షి సాక్షి ఈజ్ నిర్వికార ద్రష్ట సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ఫస్ట్ లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ టీచింగ్ ద్రష్ట దృశ్యం వివేక సెకండ్ లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ టీచింగ్ సాక్షి ది ఎక్స్పీరియన్సర్ ఈజ్ ద్రష్ట సీయర్ బట్ సాక్షి ఈజ్ అన్చేంజింగ్ వితౌట్ ఎనీ మాడిఫికేషన్ అవికార ద్రష్ట సాక్షి చైతన్యం దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ సో ద వర్డ్ ద్రష్ట కన్వేస్ సవికార chaitanyam once the atma has got modification who is um, um, changing that you cannot take as original atma which undergoes modification changing drashta therefore sakshi we prefer sakshi is nirvikara drashta second stage level we have to take <coughs> like uh, another example also how this sakshi is not a disturbed by anything and no sakshi is not disturbed because sakshi is cheta kevalo nirgunascha sakshi is without any modifications in the presence of sakshi chaitanyam everything is evident 
Sakshi is Nirvikara Drashta. So, Brahman is Sakshi, I am. That is uh, uh, witness consciousness. So, whose uh, presence things are known. In whose presence things are known. I am not the seer, I am not the experiencer, it is not an action done by me. In my presence things are evident. In my presence sounds are heard. In my presence uh, um, forms are seen. In my presence uh, tastes are uh, experienced. Like that. Changeless Sakshi Chaitanyam Aham Asmi. So that is the idea. Um, another example what I say, fire. Fire burns the finger. Fire is called burner. Burner of what? Burner of paper, burner of everything. Fire. Now tell me, really fire burns? Burning action done by the fire? Burning action done by the fire? No. In the presence of uh, fire, paper gets burnt. Because paper is associated with the fire, paper gets burnt. That is why we that um, action of burning is not done by the fire. Fire didn't plan, let me burn this paper. Let me burn this fing person's finger. Fire never think, never thought, never do any action. That is why burner name is not correct. Fire is not burner. It is not doing any burning action, willfully. Listen the example carefully. Fire <coughs> in its presence, because of its association, paper gets burnt, <coughs> finger gets burnt, like that here also. In the presence of Atma Chaitanyam, things are known. Sakshi Chaitanyam without undergoing any change, it is uh, um, helping the things to be known, taste is known, sounds are known, sounds are heard. I became a listener, seer, hearer. Actually, Sakshi Chaitanyam is that in whose presence <coughs> the hankara, the mind, becomes hearer, knower, seer, and uh, listener, walker, talker, seeker, everything, sleeper. <laughs> Dreamer, waker, waker is not sleeper, sleeper is not uh, dreamer, dreamer is not walker, walker is not eater. But ye are continuously there. Who gave that ye are? Suffix, I the Sakshi Chaitanya. In my presence, all are going on. So Sakshi, eh, Saksha Viveka, that is the teaching, second stage of teaching. So, Atma is Sakshi, Anatma is Saksham. Saksham is Anatma. Sakshi is the witness consciousness. Witness of what? Whatever Sakshi witnesses, the seed Saksham. Saksham is Anatma, Sakshi is Satyam. So, Sakshi, Saksha Viveka. First, Druk Drishya Viveka, then Sakshi, Saksha. Viveka. So, Sakshi Saksha Viveka. That is why Atma is originally Anamakam, Arupakam, uh, Sakrut Vibhatam, Sarvatra, Keval Atma, Abhyupagami. Atma is uh, taken, it is not uh, available for contact. Therefore, enjoy the Upadhi. <coughs> enjoy the Upadhi. That is the idea. Now look into the portion. Kevala Atma Abhipagami Ashakyatvad Phala Abhavad. Abhava means 
lack of prayojanam also therefore therefore where therefore what a great you know, powerful therefore atha idanim therefore now idanim <coughs> avidya parikalpitam sakshitvam ashritya so sakshitvam ashritya taking the sakshi unenclosed consciousness is not uh, useful therefore it is not useful for transaction or communication therefore sakshi saksha viveka dwara <coughs> atha idanim avidya parikalpitam hankara is is because of avidya parikalpitam and uh, sukha dukha jaya apajaya all sorts of uh, uh, attributes all because of avidya parikalpitam sakshitva sakshitvam ashritya taking that sakshitvam status ashritya let us take that uh, sakshi status also is not uh, my true nature from the standpoint of saksham i am sakshi non changing witness consciousness i am witness how long when saksham is there only i have to witness saksham anatma is not there it is mithya when i understand it is mithya it is as good as non existent my sakshi status also uh, deleted not required like using the mirror and looking at the reflecting face and uh, clearing the face and uh, enjoying and keep it aside so therefore i don't require all the time understand <coughs> therefore he says sakshitvam ashritya taking to that sakshi status for some time in the presence of consciousness mind gets mind get no the thoughts also all sukha vritti dukha vritti ananda vritti all this stress vritti all this kartrutva ashesha parinama that parinama changing parinama changing what asesha entire parinama all modification morning to till night until our sleep how many changes are going kartrutvam i am doing i am eating i am sleeping i am writing i am going i am walking i am dancing i am singing all this kartrutvaadi all this asesha parinama pratishedhaya ah i want to do pratishedha these are all not real they are only um, dancing in front of me the sakshi chaitanyam the anatma body mind complex is just episode by episode every day one episode today one episode tomorrow another episode another episode that episode that serial episode is only half an hour in between advertisements hmm? but our episode is from morning to till night non stop episode uh, again next day episode how many episodes na? until uh, last breath of this body how many years how many decades person this is also an episode only ahankara manasu buddhi chitta ahankara all are like dancing next shloka he says that so sakshitva maashritya temporarily taking to sakshitvam status i the consciousness let me have some uh, galata time enjoy sakshitvam status with anatma body mind complex so what so what that's why it is sport we always listen krishna leela krishna leela krishna leela hmm? i have always leela leela krishna leela when are you going to enjoy your atma leela Uh, my atma leela now one words you can say okay now one words you can say i like this word okay atma leela my atma leela i enjoy no more krishna leela required for me when i come to krishna leela to understand my atma leela understand krishna leela is only to understand my atma leela what is that atma leela it being brings in the next verse 58 we'll see in the next class 
ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಛತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಾವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ